Hello, my name is Shane and today I will show you how to remove and repair your pillow in window mini blinds just like this one here. This video is in two parts. Part one is 10 minutes long and shows you how to remove your shades from the pillow windows without damaging the shades or the window and also gives you some tips or tricks for difficult situations that I've encountered. Part one also shows you how to reinstall the shades in the window. Part two, which is about 50 minutes long, goes into the nitty gritty of how to replace the ladder and drawstrings and includes how to disassemble and reassemble the little, little drums up in the header here that operate the strings. You can skip part one if you already know how to remove and reinstall the shades. Now the failure of the drawstrings usually happens first followed by the ladder strings. Sometimes the shades might look okay, but they might be very hard to operate. And you'll hear a snapping sound in, the, in here. And what that snapping sound is, is your tooth belt slipping on the pulley up here. And it's doing that because your shade is so hard to operate. And if your shade is hard to operate, it's because the strings are starting to fail. My blinds were 13 years old, and I replaced some of the drawstrings and then I also did some repair on the little ladder rungs by using a needle and thread. But they only lasted about another two years after that before all the shades on the western side of my house started to fail at the same time, especially the ladder, ladder strings started to go bad. So what I should have done was just replace both the ladder strings and drawstrings, but at the time I didn't know how to do it. Now in replacing the ladder rung strings two years later, I had to handle the blinds twice, and that increased handling, increased the odds that I would somehow damage these, these slats here, and these slats are very delicate. Now I've rebuilt 10 of these shades, and I want to pass on my experience to you. So let's get started. So today we're going to repair this shade right here. These shades are pretty long, they're about five and a half feet long. So I set up to handle a long shade as you'll see. This shade has got two problems. The drawstring here is bad as you can see. As you look at this here you can see where the only the inner core of the drawstring is working and the outer core has slid back. The other thing that's bad with this is that the drawstrings, not the drawstrings, the ladder rungs strings have started to go back. You can see how they're supposed to be and what happened there. And because of that and because of this part here, this thing is it's all bound up. I'm going to show you how to open the Pella inner window. But before I do that, I have the window here in the open position so I can explain to you how it works and where the latches are. So we'll start by looking at the, at the latches and you'll see that there are three spring latches here. That's the top one, the center one, and the bottom one. Now the Pella window has two sliders mounted on the inner window and these sliders go over the spring mounted catches to release the window. The inner window also has a slider that's connected to a tooth belt and that tooth belt goes up to a little crank in the top of the window and that's what transmits the linear motion to the shade. And when the window is shut, these snap shut. Okay, so to get those snapped open, you have to find the little slider on the side here and slide it down until it gets that catch and pops it loose. You can pull the window a little bit 
And then there's another slider down here. And I'm going to release the next catch right here. Okay, it just popped. And then I'll slide down to the last catch right here. Oh, that one just popped. And now I can open the window. Yeah, you have to lift it a little bit to get it over the handle. And when you do open it, you'll find that there's a retainer string. And the purpose of that retainer string is to keep you from opening the window too much, having an unchange and having the window fall off. So that's an important feature. Now I'll show you how to remove the shade. And you have to be careful with it because the shade is, is partly extended and you don't want to bend any of the slats. But there's a little handle right here and if you pull on this handle, that side of the, I call this the header bar, that side of the header bar comes out and then you can pull this other end away from the crank. Now. That was really easy and that's the way it's supposed to work in the instructions, but sometimes it doesn't work that way. What I found with my shades is that you look at this ceiling strip around the window and it gets a little bit soft and it actually gets glued to the header bar right here. It gets glued to the header bar. And so the first time I took this out, <coughs> Put it back in so you can see it. The first time I tried to take it out, this wouldn't come out, and I thought I was doing something wrong. I read, read the instructions, read and reread the instructions until I realized that what was happening was that that little strip of sealant around the window was glued to right here. If you have that kind of a problem, what you have to do is slide, get behind the shade. and slide a knife up underneath, slide a putty knife up underneath here to separate the uh, ceiling strip from the header bar. And one of the things I learned is that this type of putty knife is no good. It doesn't work because it's rounded on the corners. So it's not going to get where you need to be. You need to have a putty knife that's got a nice square corner on it to be able to get to the corner and release it. And sometimes you have to do the same thing on this side. Now that we removed the blinds, it's time to go to part two of the video series about how to take apart and rebuild your blinds. Once you get done with part two and you've rebuilt your blinds, come back here for the last part to show how we reinstall blinds in the window. Before we install the new rebuilt, now before we install the rebuilt blinds, now is a good time to clean the window. Okay, so now we've got your fully assembled shade, which we're going to put in place. And as they say in the manual, you still install the reverse order of disassembly. So you want to get the end with the crank hooked in first, socket it into the crank, and then slide the other side on there. And you've got it. Make sure that your slider is in the right position so that you have enough travel. First time you pull it in, suck it up tight, it'll equalize the uh, tension on the drawstring on both sides. Now it's time to close the window. Gently close it. 
lift it over the handle at the bottom. And then snap it shut. You'll hear a click. One, two, three.